What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my huge TBR for April. I have so many books to read for my TBR and I'm going to be able to read them because I now only work one day a week with all the quarantine stuff going on. So I'm really excited about this. First things first, I am in a TBR challenge in my online book club. And I always have the link down below in case you guys want to join. But the TBR challenge that we're doing for April is called read it or leave it. And so what we had to do is we had to roll dice in order to figure out the number of books that we actually had to read for the month. And so I rolled the dice, you had to roll three different times. And I have to read 10 10 books for the month of April. If I do not read all 10 books that I have picked, then I have to unhaul the rest of the ones that I didn't read. So this is very important to me. I need to read all 10 of these books because I don't want to unhaul my books because like I'm a minimalist with books as it is. And so the books that I have are the ones that like are the most important ones for me to read. So I actually picked out nine books to read from my shelves and I really could not pick the 10th book. So I'm actually going to just do a panning view of my bookshelves right now. And I kind of want all of you guys to pick one book from the shelf and then I can pick from there. If a lot of you like mention the same book, then I'll pick the book that's like most mentioned. But if most of you are commenting all different ones, then I'll just pick one from the ones that you guys commented on. So you guys get to pick the 10th book from my list. I actually have more than 10 books to talk about though because I also have two books on NetGalley I need to read so technically I can't unhaul those um, so I couldn't put those in my 10 and then I have a buddy read that's on my Kindle as well and so I can't unhaul that either so I couldn't put that within my 10 either. I also wanted to let you guys know that um, I started this like new series just randomly on my channel it's called Read With Friends and it's myself and a bunch of booktubers we get together in this big live show and we chat for about 30 minutes. I felt like I was too stupid to understand anything that was going on. <laughs> I feel the same. Uh, I was just I'm like, like, what? am I like, missing something? I know. And everybody says the ending is worth it, but I'm like, I don't even understand what's happening. So <laughs> <laughs> I finished the whole thing and I feel like I still don't understand it. Like, <laughs> oh no. I can't even yeah, really remember it. And it was only a couple of months ago. <laughs> and then we read for a whole hour together so we all like mute and you guys that are watching on youtube you also like read with us and then after that we chat for another like 20 to 30 minutes and we talk about how far we've gotten so we just did our first one just this past wednesday and it went absolutely amazing like there were so many of us on there gabby was on there chandler was on there jessica from peace love books and then a bunch of my like smaller booktuber friends like emily there's so many different ones and so there's even more people joining us for the next one so in case you guys didn't know the next one is going to be april 3rd which is a friday at 7 p.m eastern standard time and that is here on my channel it's a live video so I really hope you guys want to join because you actually get reading done you get an hour's worth of reading in and then you also can like talk with us and ask us questions and stuff it's super super fun so I just wanted to let you guys know that before we go into my TBR I'm gonna start with actually the book that I'm reading for my live show the booktubers and brews live show for this month for April I am going to have Gwen Kessinger as my co-host and I am super super excited I actually just started watching her channel. One of my friends told me to actually look her up because I guess she has been watching my channel and I am so glad that I subscribed to her because she is absolutely amazing. And so I'm really glad that she wanted to be the co-host for April. So we are going to be reading Dry, which is, whoops, there's a glitch. Sorry, it's really sunny today. This is by Neil Schusterman and I actually got this copy off of Book Outlet. I'm not sure if Book Outlet still has this on, but I do have my uh, Book Outlet link down below if you guys want to go check it out and see if it's still there. But I think I got this for like $4. This is a like dystopian type of book where I think in this world there's a huge drought and so everyone is kind of just like really, really thirsty and I'm not exactly sure what happens within that, but I'm really excited to read this, especially with like kind of what's going on now. I wanted to read a couple dystopian books this month. And so I'm really glad that this is the one that Gwen and I are going to read and discuss. I actually probably should tell you when that live show is. I'm a little rusty if you can't tell. I gotta move this camera because the glare is just like, will that work? 
live show is actually going to be Tuesday, April 28th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that is when we are going to be doing the live show for this. It's going to be here on my channel. I hope you guys are really excited because, you know, all you have to do is read this book and then come join the live show where we talk about spoilers and everything else. Speaking of spoilers, the spoiler vlog that I'm doing for the month of April is going to be Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier. This, I believe, I'm not exactly sure what day this is published, but this is published in April. I'm not sure when the spoiler vlog is gonna be up, but it'll definitely be either like right when this is published or after it's published. It's not gonna go up before it gets published. That way you guys have a chance to read it. But my spoiler vlog is literally just a vlog of me reading this whole book and telling you guys everything that happens within it. So it's really great if you read the book beforehand because then you can hear my thoughts on all different chapters and things that happen. I've heard amazing things about this book so I'm really really excited. I actually haven't read Jar of Hearts yet which is Jennifer Hillier's other like super famous book um, and so I'm not exactly sure what this one is about. I think I'm just gonna go into it blindly. I don't even think I'm gonna read the synopsis for this. I also have this on NetGalley though so once I do read it I can count that off of my NetGalley reviews as well which is great. Okay now we're just going into some books that I have for the actual like read it or leave it TBR challenge. Like the ones I just talked about are also within that challenge, but I'm just gonna go over some other ones that I want to read in the month of April. So I have mine by Emily Merrill. Emily is actually one of my dear friends here on YouTube. She goes by a little writer M and she actually wrote this book and I've been meaning to read it for all of these months now and I keep not getting to it. So this is the month that I'm going to read it because I definitely do not wanna have to unhaul this. I wanted to have a good mixture of like thrillers and romance because I feel like I now need that type of mixture. I can't just read all romance or all thrillers like within one month. So I'm doing a good mixture of it for this month. So mine is I believe about a toxic relationship. I believe that there's some type of not physical abuse but um, more like a um, I can't think of the word. There's some type of like abuse within this relationship because of it being toxic. So I'm really excited to read this. Um, and I really want to, you know, just congratulate Emily for writing that book, but I haven't read it yet. So, uh, you know, I want to be able to tell her like, great job. Okay, the next book that I have to read is Megan Joe. This is actually a contemporary retelling of Little Women. And I've read Little Women like way back when, when I was in school, I guess, like, well, I was homeschooled, but I definitely read it back then. And I remember really liking it, but I definitely didn't get on that like crazy train of Little Women that was happening just a couple months ago. And so I didn't go and reread it. I didn't even watch the movie yet. I do want to get that at my library though and try and watch it, but I'm really excited to read this. So this is literally just, I guess, a retelling. So like for instance, uh, Jo lives in New York City and she is pursuing a career in journalism. And then Meg um, has has a handsome husband and adorable toddlers and I guess is like a housewife and stuff and so I'm really excited I think I'm really going to like this and so yeah I, I also just really love the cover like it just seems very springy to me okay another romance I will be reading is three blind dates this is like a comedy slash romance I think um, I did a try a chapter for this one back a I think it was in February so a couple months ago and I think I enjoyed the first chapter of this so I'm excited to read the rest of it I remember this being a girl that is in this I think it's like a talk show like morning show and her boss found that she used some resources to do this like blind date type of thing and so he's like not really blackmailing her but he's kind of like well since you used our resources like this is gonna be a show on our good morning show now so you have to go do this so I'm really excited it sounds really intriguing to me so can't wait for that. Now we're kind of getting into some thrillers. I really want to read The Perfect Son by Lauren North. I've heard amazing things about this. And I think this is about a little boy. It's, it's his eighth birthday. And this mom wakes up in the hospital the day after her son's birthday and says so she's sure of three things. Her husband died three months ago. She's been stabbed and her son is missing but no one is listening to her. So I've heard that this is amazing, really excited for it, and it's not super, super long, so it should be a really easy thriller. Okay, the next book is actually out of my comfort zone, and my friend Missy sent me this copy, and she really wants me to read it. A lot of people really want me to read it, and I'm definitely going to try it out. 
for the month of April. So this is before we were yours. I know that Gabby just read this book and DNF'd it, I believe. Um, but I am really going to try and read this. Wish me luck, everybody. <laughs> um, I think that this is a, so it's in 1939 and it's about this children's home society orphanage. I'm not exactly sure what else it is, but I hear it's very super emotional and you guys know that I love emotional books. I just hope that I like it. <laughs> okay, one that I've been really excited to read and I didn't get to it for the backlist readathon is Saving Megan. I really wanna read this one and I got this off of Book Outlet for just a couple dollars. This is kind of sort of the same as the show The Act on Hulu and also Darling Rose Gold, which just came out, which is one of my favorite books. This deals with the Munchausen by proxy syndrome um, where the mother is making the daughter think that she's sick her whole life and it turns out she's not sick. I'm not exactly sure what other details this one goes into, but I'm really excited to read this because I love that type of storyline. Hope I really like this. Okay, the ninth book, this is like the last one for my read it or leave it TBR challenge. Um, we also have a big books readathon that we're doing this month as well. So I really wanted to participate that. I had a couple big books on my TBR shelf and so I picked Wanderers. I won't be as sad if I don't like this and I have to unhaul it. Like if I can't get through this book for that readathon, then it won't break my heart to unhaul this book, which is one of the reasons why I picked it for this month because you know who knows if i'll be able to read it this is like 700 pages almost 800 it's 700 and like 65 pages or something this is crazy i also thought that with this being a dystopian book it'd be good to read this month with like you know everything that's going on but this is about people that are like sleepwalking i don't know what exactly that does or what that means but all these people are like sleepwalking and like it's an apocalyptic epidemic of some sort like that. I've never read a book that big because the longest book I've read so far has been um, Imaginary Friend and I think that was right at 700 pages. I think it was like 720. So yeah. Then I have a couple books. Let's see. I have two books on NetGalley. So I need to read He Started It by Samantha Downing. I don't know what this one is about. I totally forget. But I did read My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. So that's why I'm excited to read this one. This does get published April 24th, I believe. But yeah, really excited to get that one done. Then I also have a self-help book called The Habit Swap. And this is just one that I got off of NetGalley because I love self-help books. And I am excited to read it because especially right now, like everyone, you know, it'd be good to like stop any bad habits and start some good ones. And I'm just really excited to read the self-help book. And last but not least on my TBR, I'm going to read Credence by Penelope Douglas. This is actually a buddy read that I'm doing within my book club. And I think we're reading it like on a daily schedule throughout the whole month of April, but this is actually on my Kindle. Thanks to my friend Amanda for actually purchasing it for me for my Kindle so I could join in on this buddy read because I did really wanna read this book. It sounds so intriguing. It's like a taboo forbidden romance, I think, with like creepy guys. I don't know, I heard it's really, really weird. I don't know too much about it except that people were just like, so I'm there, I'm really, really excited. And yeah, don't forget that I still need you guys to pick the 10th book for me to read. So make sure that you comment down below to let me know which book off of my actual shelf that you want me to read. I'm only gonna pick one and yeah, I'm really, really excited to see what you guys pick. I really could not figure out what last book I wanted to read. I think that is all for this video. I actually think I'm gonna put this up pretty early. Um, so my wrap up should be up very soon. And then I know I didn't do my spoiler vlog yet um, for You Are Not Alone for March. I am still trying to read that over the last couple days, but I'm trying to finish up um, my book for the live show that's coming here in actual March. Like I'm like so far behind right now, but I just figured I would put up this TBR at a time so that way you guys could help me choose the book for my read it or leave it TBR challenge. There's going to be an April plan with me very soon, a March wrap up very soon. I'm also doing a March book haul very soon. I'm just waiting for an order to come in. And then I'm also doing my spoiler vlog, hopefully. There's a lot of videos that I have not gotten out yet that I still need to get out, but anyway. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys are really excited and I hope you're reading so much, but I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye everyone. Please